1965 Mustang. This car had been sitting in the garage for over 30 years. Once a symbol of youth, speed, and freedom, it had turned into a pile of scrap metal. His father never sold it, but he never fixed it either. Just left it to rot. And the son saw it. First as a kid, peeking into the garage, imagining himself driving that beast one day. Then as an adult, realizing that if he didn't do something, this legend would just disappear. The solution was simple. The Mustang had to be taken. Completely. Not just a couple of bolts tightened, but rebuilt from scratch. His father was skeptical at first. It's dead, son, he said. But the son knew, not yet. The first task was to get it out of the garage. That was a challenge on its own, flat tires, seized brakes. A truck and a tow line solved the problem, and finally, the Mustang stood under the sun. Faded, with peeling paint and time's fingerprints all over it. But still a Mustang. The, the engine, of course, didn't even think about starting. It showed no signs of life at all. It had to be completely disassembled. Every part, every bolt was taken out, cleaned, or replaced. The old carburetor went to the junkyard, replaced with a new one, modern but fitting the car's character. Pistons, gaskets, belts, everything was upgraded. When the engine was rebuilt and started for the first time, the sound was like a beast waking up after years in a cage. The interior wasn't in great shape either. The seats looked more like ancient armchairs from a grandmother's attic, sagging, cracked, and smelling of old leather. They were replaced with new ones, styled like the 60s, but with modern comfort. The steering wheel had to go too. The old one looked like a flea market relic, but the new one fit perfectly. The dashboard, which had been unreadable, now gleamed like it was brand new. And, of course, the body. It looked like the Mustang had been left outside for all those 30 years. Rust, dents, peeling paint. There was no room for compromises, a full strip down, sanding, priming, and a fresh coat of paint. Deep black metallic with a hint of blue. A color that made the car glow under the sun. And then, the day came when it was all ready. The Mustang rolled out of the workshop. The engine roared the way a classic V8 should. Every part worked flawlessly. People on the street turned to look, pulling out their phones to capture the beauty. His father stood to the side, watching as his old car once again became something that could have ruled the roads in the 60s. I didn't think you'd pull it off, he said quietly. The son just smiled. Because the 1965 Mustang was back in the game. 